Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan with Elise and today we are talking about easy monthly memory keeping in my classic happy planner, but really you could do this for any planner. So I have some monthly kits here, monthly calendar kits from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. And last year I did this and this year I've been doing it where I'm setting up these little memorable moments pages in my planner. There's just five boxes. It's really simple. It's really manageable. I think that one of the things that overwhelms me about memory keeping is the idea that, oops, I'd have to like select photos and print them out and it just feels a little bit stressful. It always has and it's not something I've ever been able to keep up with until I started doing it this way. So we're going to set up four months here because I have the whole year of kits and I've been doing them kind of sort of quarterly, not quite quarterly, but we're going to do this kind of two at a time this way. Um, these will be linked in the description of the video and code Elise 15 will give you a discount. And this is one of Jojo's best sellers because I think so many of you love this really simple, manageable way of memory keeping. And then I'm just gonna kind of cut here. And obviously I can't cut at the middle of the desk, so we're just gonna go around it. And this one will go around it too. Okay, so first up we need April, right? Because we need to be able to fill out April. So I'm going to take this first strip and put this right over here. This is a little bit bigger. If you wanted to, you could put it right over here and then just punch through but I tend to do it this way. Put one down and then we'll take the second. I mean, this is like a five minute page, if that. Sometimes it takes me longer as I'm talking through it. I feel like I go a little bit slower when I'm talking, but if you're looking for something that looks really beautiful in your planner and you don't have the time or I don't know, the creative energy or anything to make it really, fancy, this works perfectly fine. So I'm going to take my, oops, oh my goodness, everything is just falling today. I'm going to take my Papermate Flare and we're going to write memorable You could also use alphabet stickers if you don't love your handwriting. moments. And what's really cool is because I write down five each month, sometimes more if it's like two birthdays or something like that, I would celebrate it. Um, at the end of the year, you have 60 moments, which is awesome. So I pulled out markers that we're going to combine here. I'm just trying to remember which color I pulled out. Oh, I feel like I drew it. I did draw it. And then I'm going to take a mild liner that has some of the color that works here. And we're gonna do in April. When I'm filming this, today is April 10th, maybe? I think today's April 10th. And I feel like I'm going to have so many memorable moments because what's already on my mind is I went to a professional hockey game and sat in the alumni suite and um, this weekend I'll be celebrating my boyfriend's birthday and my college roommate's baby shower. And then next week I'm going to An uh, not Anaheim. Oh my goodness. I'm going to Arlington, Texas for Go Wild. It's like there's already going to be so many moments that I know are going to be part of my memories in April. So let's put a box here put this one here. I should have put these on the lines themselves, but again, oops, we can fix that one. This is not meant to be an overthinking type of way to put your memories in your planner. It's meant to be fun and creative and beautiful and houses those memories. And then it's kind of crazy when I'm looking at this because when I think of last year and making these pages, 
last year in April was when I saw my house and by the end of the month was under contract to um, buy the house, which I closed in June. And when the month started, that was not necessarily something that I thought was going to be happening. So it's really cool to set these up and I just don't know, you know, what's going to, what's going to come. So I don't have to use all these stickers. We can just use some of them. And then there's also some extras, which is great. So now we have the first set done. Cute little fold here. And we have memorable moments in April. So now <clears throat> let's take May. So I have May and then we have the May kit. And we'll do the same thing here by putting these down. I think when I glanced at the camera, we were at five minutes. So like I said, this is a five minute page and that was with a little bit of introductory commentary. Where'd my scissors go? So we need to trim these off. Whoops. And of course, everything from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop is all her artwork, which is just an extra beautiful touch. I do love supporting creators who, whether they do their own artwork or they license artwork, I think that, I don't think there's really any wrong way to do it as long as everything's being properly licensed. Because the thing is too, when someone is licensing artwork, they're also supporting another creator, the person who made that artwork to begin with. So it's not like they're just pulling images off of Google. They are purchasing the artwork and, um, the person who created it is being supported. Memorable moments. But I wanted to point out that when you do buy from Jojo, who is such a dear friend of mine, this is all her artwork. Memorable moments. And then the color that I chose here was a lighter pink. I'm going more for the middle here because May is a short word. And you don't have to be super neat with this part because when I'm going to do the cursive over it, um, it covers up a decent amount that you don't really see as much of what's underneath. So let's take out our box stickers. This one, this one, and this one. We'll put this here. This time I will line it up properly. We'll put this pink down. And I usually just grab whatever marker or highlighter color kind of works. It's not always a perfect match, but it's usually something that's pretty close. You can put this down here. And now we have some extra stickers to play with. One of the other things I really love, that's going to be too much space covered up, about these kits is that they're seasonal-ish. Like this looks pretty for May and it looks appropriate, but they're not overly seasonal. Like when you get to December, it doesn't scream Christmas. These are just really different kinds of floral stickers that look um, nice through each month that you're in. And they also match the monthly calendar that can sit on your desk. I have one, um, but it's just on my other desk right now and it's not in reaching distance. So as someone who like doesn't celebrate Christmas, I do appreciate when um, not everything is like super hyper Christmas themed and it's nice to have something a little bit different. Okay. We have two more to go and that is June and July. So we'll get these down. So first up, whoops, pulling this one off. You can buy these kits. I think you can buy them annually. I think you can buy them in the half year if you feel like it's too late in the year. I don't remember exactly, but again, I'll have them um, linked in the description for you. But going through this last year was really just one of my favorite ways to look back on each month and then ultimately look back on the year, especially as I went through to do my memorable um or good things pages. So the last, ever since 2020, I've done a video on my channel of, for in 2020, it was 20 good things about 2020. 
in 2021. It was 21 good things about 2020, etc. I started doing it on my channel at the end of the year in 2020 because I felt like even though it was a rough year, of course, a worldwide pandemic, I went through a breakup. I lived in a hotel for a while. It was a rough year. I lost my grandpa. There was also good in the month, in the year. And I wanted to be able to have that perspective of what was good in the year. I do really try to look at things with a good perspective. Um, maybe not always in the moment, but in reflection. So for example, I had a really, really rough work day yesterday for so many reasons. It was just one of those really hard days. And I was talking to a friend at night and I was telling her a little bit about it. And she said, you know, it sounds like you just really had a bad day. And at that point I was like, yeah, I mean, it wasn't great. Like there were rough moments, but you know what? It was 75 degrees outside. I was able to be outside for a little bit. Um, I started the day with a migraine, but I didn't end the day with a migraine. Like, I think that, of course, depending on the situation, but things aren't always as bad as we may feel in the moment. And I say depending on the situation, because there are some things that don't, don't, moments that don't just flutter by, right? A death, an illness, all of that. Those are going to be very different when we're, when we're trying to talk about perspective. But a hard work day or, you know, a frustrating text that you get, something like that doesn't always have to be life altering. All right, we're going to go yellow here in June. When I say life altering, I feel like I need to, I need to adjust that choice of word. When I look back at yesterday, I don't want to think this was a horrible day because it was fine. I survived. There were some frustrating moments, but it's over. Today's a new day. Looking at it with a fresh perspective. Okay, a lot of rambling about uh, about perspective, but I think that it really helps me have a healthy outlook and helps me cope with the challenging days. Um, we're gonna do the green here. This is so pretty. I love, oops, I ripped that one. I'll fix it. I can fix it. We know, we all know I can rip a sticker because I do in most videos. However, I can usually fix it. This one might be a little bit tough because of the way that it ripped. There we go. It's fine. Again, perspective. No, the video is over. This is a mess. I ripped a sticker. I'm not going to look at things that way. And I'll put this down. But I do love these lemons and the green. It almost feels like a little bit um, vintage-ish. Put this lemon here. And I think these are really pretty. So I can put one over here and then one over here. I don't want to go too overboard with the extra stickers. I like to keep this somewhat simple, but maybe we can bring in one more lemon in between these two. Okay. Memorable moments in June are finished. We are averaging less than five minutes per set, and I don't even feel like I'm rushing. I'm just kind of, we're just kind of chilling. And now we have July, birthday month. So let's get this one down. We have my birthday, I have my nephew's birthday, we have 4th of July. I don't even know what day 4th of July is this year. I'm trying to remember what day it was last year and what I did for 4th of July. I feel like last year maybe it was on a Sunday. I don't know. Now I got to find out because now I'm curious. I feel like, because I always love having a day off, <laughs> a paid day off. Let's see. Got my computer open here. When are you 4th of July? On a Thursday. Interesting. I wonder if my job will um, be off Friday. Okay, I grabbed this when the lights weren't on. Now I'm wondering if it's the right color. I feel like it's a little bit orange, but I also think that 
wait a second, what stickers am I using here? This and this. I feel like once I write over it, it's not gonna look as orange, so we're gonna use it. Okay, so we're gonna do memorable moments. I rarely use my Paper Mate Flare anymore. It was one of my favorite pens when I first started using Happy Planner, but I feel like it takes a little bit to dry and it almost feels too bold in my planner. Whoops. Womp womp, we need correction tape. We'll fix that, okay. Um, it feels too bold in my planner, but I like it for a page like this because I think it just has that extra, extra thing, extra oomph. And then we'll do, let's do the brush side of this. It looks very orange. I think it'll be fine. When I have looked back on these in the past, I've never opened a page and looked closely enough to be like, wow, that was really the wrong color choice there. Again, it's a practice in perspective and what really matters. All right, perfect, in July. Now we need our boxes. These are pretty colors. I'm gonna put this one here. Put this one here. This one here. And I'm also kind of being intentional about the colors that I'm putting down to make sure that I'm not gonna have like salmon and salmon. Just because that's not how I want that to look. Okay, perfect. Perfect for me. this over here. I know that that's green on green, but I think it looks looks kind of cute. This one I'm going to cover up with that little leaf with one that's a little bit bigger. And we'll add in maybe a second right over here. And then I think this one we're also going to kind of cover up that a little bit right there. And now we have memorable moments in July. So let's pop these into my planner and now they're ready for my plans. So we've got March in, April. This, we'll go down one right here. We've got April, May, pretty, June. and July. And now they're ready for me to fill in. So I'm excited. I love having these in my planner. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember you can pick up these kits in the description of the video. Code Elise 15 will give you a discount. Thanks so much for watching and spending time with me and I will see you next time.